East Metro Youth Services is an accredited children's mental health organization that has been serving the Toronto community for nearly 40 years. The agency aims to provide innovative ways for young people to get connected by integrating media arts and social media into its programming to connect young people to meaningful programs and social services. This project is one example of how social media can be a force for positive change and growth in young people's lives. What's a voice? Surely, we all talk, but not all of us have a voice that is truly heard. When silenced, we feel small, inconsequential, and suffocated. Empowering this voice to ring free for all to hear then becomes the greatest fight that many of us will ever have to endure. Discovering this voice can be a challenge when all we see are walls that keep these hopes and dreams locked inside. Technology and its influences serve to break down these barriers and connect youth with the world around them. Our ideas and our ways of conveying ourselves have much more of an impact once we can use these tools to support our voice. It is our way to stay in tune, to feed off the concepts that add to our creativity, and to help us find that voice that cries out to the world. So the whole purpose of this film is to pretty much engage five youth who all live different lives, who uh, you know come from different backgrounds, but share one common interest, and that's it, the love of music, the passion of music, and how music has uh, you know been therapeutic and helped them get through their life, whether it's trial and tribulations or you know how it's been a, a happy means to them. And through this documentary, or through this project, the whole idea is to showcase their life and their music to the entire world. This film will be launched on our agency website as well as all of our social media networks. We hope it will inspire young people to speak up and become leaders in their online and home communities. I want to make it further than Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Like, I want to be internationally known all over. connect a sort of a, a unity or a, or a network of, of young artists like yourselves that are doing similar things that's how we start it that's how I think we start the foundation and that's that's what's gonna get the attention to you guys mm -hmm. so this is a great tool for you guys to showcase your skills and talents like I said we want the real side of you guys we don't want you guys to hold back anything yeah, keep, right? it, keep it real you know and I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing doing my best to keep it positive you know and I get that positive message across to the world because at the end of the day, what what you output is what you receive back. And 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 what if when you when you put this out, we do the show, how you how you talk to the crowd, what you say, that's what the, that's how people are gonna know you as. So make a positive image for yourself. True words. Yo, it's Timothy here, Tizzle T, Corden at my church. What's going on, Matthew? Come on, man. Everything you know. crazy, you know. That is just so awesome, man, you know? Woke me up this morning. Mm -hmm. God is so good. God is awesome, God. I'm going to show you some of the track I made. My name is Timothy Abbey, a.k.a. Tizzle T. Grade six, I was 11 years old. I started taking piano classes, and I, I was really, I was really interested in that. That was, that was one of my inspirations for music. I really appreciated that. 
I love that I could that I could express my heart and my my soul into the music, and I could I could express myself and 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 mix and make melodies that would express my my feelings and my and my love for love for music. Music is very powerful, and and how you use your music to the generations, you you have to explain yourself. The youth are listening. And what you need to get is a positive message out to the youth. Hip hop, hip hop is not it's not a positive message. The hip hop that I used to listen to, that I repented of, I repented of it because I realized, I realized, I, had, I came to a conclusion that this was not benefiting me. And listen, I'm doing this so people, when people hear my music and King the music, they they would get they would get into into a close relationship with God because music is a very powerful thing. Every, everybody needs music. And my music, I call it truth music. Because, because truth music is not hip hop, but a version of communicating. I don't call, I, I, I wouldn't say rapping, but communicating. So when they could hear not hip hop, but truth music, they're using the instrumentals that, that Kingdom Music uses and puts the word of God into stories and parables and 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 faith and faith in, and heart into the music and people will see that and see that works and glorify the Father in heaven even more. Yeah, we stop our the rise to the trumpet sound with three years of miracle. Faith is growing critical, be bumping like a stereo. How do you have a vision with circulating miracles and many of his parables? Yeah, I say I'm living spiritual. Yeah, I say I'm walking spiritual. Yeah. A new song, Behind the Clouds. Beautiful song. I wrote this. And what I had in mind when I was writing it is the return of Jesus Christ. And I really spoke from my heart and and it's a beautiful song. And I thought deeply about it when I was writing and, and it created created greatness. I felt ex I was excited, I felt enthusiastic, I felt like like expressing myself and, and shouting hallelujah. When I first got the instrumental, I, I listened to it and I was shouting hallelujah and I was praising God. And I just I had a I had a vision uh, uh, an idea of of him coming back and it, it, and the song came me the song made me feel feel like feel feel like that moment that that time was here and I was like when, when I heard the when they, it was called behind the clouds so you can imagine behind the clouds ready to come back and it's a beautiful song it, it, it brings tears to my eyes and I hope you all enjoy it. Lord, I want to praise you every day Thank you for coaching and putting me in the game too you Showed me the right way, call the place Lord I'ma just run it up straight, straight I lift up your name, up rise in my prayers every single day Flowing like it's golden and I'm honored that I'm chosen When I live outside of this, it was also unfolded Grace Covered by the Lamb, covered by the Lamb Mercy and peace flows to me from Christ Body, he's strong and sturdy. He's a rock and a tower, a refuge. He came for some shelter. He fed me and clothed me. My love to him and y'all. When you hear this story, stay tuned. Get the glory to God for this cause I bow my knees and exalt the King. Covered by his wings and the angels sing. And, and the exalt the King. Covered by his wings and the angels sing. And the angels sing. Christ reigns, give him all the praise. Christ reigns, give him all the praise. Christ reigns, give him all the praise. From a place where you think it's all maple and A's, where we try and incorporate what we see in the States. I've been in the place, way far from home now. I'm all alone now, doing wrong, don't judge me, I ain't on trial. Mr. Empty Bottle, take away the sorrow and these feelings that'll follow. I deal with it tomorrow, on point as an arrow, not quite a king in things. But I got the looks of a fair row. It's in my blood and bones like a man row transmuted into a car till I'm driving a command row. I'm that driven. I'm that driven. Self doubt can be a paralyzing fear that can impede on progress. But on the other hand, the hesitancy can serve its own purpose. Either way, it is something I personally have lived with since my primitive days. The feeling of unworthiness, just not being good enough for your own standards put forth. 
because the bar mentally set too high, even though once this feeling is surmounted, everything will be seemingly in place. And I mean absolutely no disrespect towards the people in my life, but I personally have felt that I've never been in the presence of a true human soul whom I can share my innermost thoughts, ambitions, and desires with. At times, it feels like the only person I ever had was me. But I can only go so far with my own advice because my perspective, though rather unique, is limited to my own experiences relative to my past. I've been let down and manipulated by the most unexpected of people to the extent where it becomes foreign to trust. Has reins on me, difficult to maintain due to all the frustration it connotes with mental strain. So the best thing for me to do aside from counseling from a therapist twice a week was writing what's on my mind. Since seeing a shrink is well out of the financial equation, the only outlet left beyond substance is the ink with a desire to have murals of vividness for any and everyone willing to see as long as they are open to give a chance, a shot for their ears to translate an idea that travels to the heart. For I'm certain that uh, an addiction will ensue in a world where it is easy to be forgotten. So while I have your attention, granted if I still do, I hope it is not because of negatively compelling thoughts that in essence are fairly rot. Alright, I'm ready to go. Yeah, the girl waiting on me, she ain't waiting on you. Cause I got it going on, got it going on, got it going on, got it going on, cause I got it. Got it, I got it going on, got it, got it, got it going on Got your hood buzzing again, tell a cousin a friend It wasn't all about the f Benjamins Nice with it, but the price is I'm crazy Style like poutine, the way I get the cheese But over everything, king, it's all gravy Stay with me, don't lose me like reception And settle for these dudes who confuse with deception Got talent with good looks, too perspective Only go for girls in the world who selected Ain't got sh to lose, therefore they got goals Not one smoking weed all day, the pothole Two, I avoid more than potholes cause they always got their hand out asking if you got dough hell no even though it's true i do got it no messenger of god but i make a good profit my shoe classic like vito colion this shoe tragic I'm sick. i always heard mother say that she loved me but her actions spoke higher volumes and stories of indifference towards us us being a family she loved me but not as much as my potential to possibly make her wealthy one day. But being well off is not enough. So the insatiable desire that comes with it which translates into greed for some people who are not willing to see that. She played the role mom all along but was playing me, manipulating me. So I left and you asked why the hell don't you stay with me? And fall on deaf ears as I respond from what you say to me eventually you hating me. Then I come around and you tell out of all your kids that you favor me? Because I allow you to have your way with me. A mother, you can't just ignore it. For nine months she broke with my big head. So why would she go and tell me I'm not important? Even if I'm talented enough to make a fortune. And fortunate enough to give everyone a portion. My relationship with mama got me mentally sick. Always saying how I'm done and I'll eventually quit. Used to want to make you proud even though expectations were something else. I'd always let you down. In our relationship, five brothers and two sisters you said I was your favorite, and it made me sick. What you want from my soul, then I realized my soul was something you could control. Out of sight, out of mind, only saw if I could find, I'm fine. It only gave me peace of mind, because you never did like me. I looked like my father, reminder of the pain, so why should I even bother? And then my mom's called last night. I had not the courage to press answer. And then my pops called last night and told me that your mother was having cancer. Lord, I pray for better days to show up. Yeah. Pay for better ways to grow up. And just let go of the past. Life is short. See the time just passed. Maybe we can start over. When you're passionate about something, that's when you would do it 
regardless if you get paid or not. Absolutely. That's what your passion. One hundred and twenty. And what you're and what you're doing it for is is for that reaction from people. You're not doing it for people for people to, you know to be to be like world renowned or whatever. Where you're doing it for somebody to be like. I seen I heard that track you did. I seen that picture you painted, and that hit me. So, and I want you to know that yeah. what you're doing, like you're doing it, like you know, that's that's when you're passionate about yeah. something. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird. It's a plane. I am. I am Tyrell Shirley, most commonly known as Shirley Chillin. <laughs> I am not the, I'm not actually the person that you're going to hear rapping, you understand what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, just like everybody else, I'm just a human being, I'm just a person. Mm. I'm a person that's seen things, I'm a person that wants to do things, I'm a person that's done things, you understand? And through that, I reflect it through my music. So like, I'm going to say, like, they call me the Bart Simpson with the dark pigment. <laughs> I'm gonna say, like, I'm gonna try to like cut out all the swear words and like replace with other things. But like, the things I'm gonna say, uh, I'm not, I'm not saying stuff that I do. I'm not saying stuff that I don't do. But it's stuff that actually happens in real life. You know what I'm saying? Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. This amazing stranger from the planet Krypton. I bring the. I bring the fantasy to things, I bring the non-fiction to things, I bring the, you know, I bring the epic, I bring the tale, I bring the, the fairy tale, I bring the, you know, I bring um, the, the science fiction, the, the, the noir, the western to everything, that's what I do. Like, I bring it beyond your ears, like I, I like you'll hear it and then you see it. I got six million ways of getting paid today. Money makes me forget all the things my minister say. Your last dying breath is like five minutes away. I got my mind made. Turns out that crime pays. So who you think you're really talking to sideways? Hold heater sideways, turn your mom's brains to flying bay. I seen it in a movie, did it in Call of Duty. Now I'ma haul the Uzi, go to school and I'ma do it. Don't believe me, sue me. Don't confuse me with them other dudes. I have you seeing ghosts like Shaggy and Scooby. <laughs> Ninth grade, there was, they would hold freestyle competitions, like freestyle battles, and then my friend lost to this other guy. So I challenged the other guy, and then I beat the other guy, and then pretty much from, from then, like I was known to be a good rapper. Cause he was like maybe grade 11 or something like that. And from then, like it was in stone that like I was, I was something else. And if you are the um, all powerful, all ruling king of hip hop, mm -hmm. what, uh, what changes would you bring? Nobody would get paid for it. No more checks, no more anything, no more things regarding your album sales or anything like that. You make it, you put it out, you get your feedback and that's it. Why don't you want people to get paid? Because that, that, that brings too much thing for the wrong reason. We're gonna see who's in it. <laughs> who's, we're gonna see who's really in it for the art, for the actual music. First and foremost, 
kick rhymes till I get sore toes A black man with an all black wardrobe Me and my homies went and checked the scoreboard You've been forewarned, cause we're coming door to door Straight from the earth's core, from the highest clouds To the deepest coral reef, across the globe and sea Overseas, my third eye, overseas Clutch your crucifixes and rosaries You know my steez, yeah yeah, you know my steez The fabrics of space and time, I so it seems Or so it seems, sing sing Like Wolverine, I'm the all-knowing so address me accordingly Do I have to slow my speech? You know it's me, Shazam First two days we didn't see you Nothing uh, I've just been taking care of some family stuff Went to Georgia Brown So did some registering over there I'm about to get into Georgia Brown for January For right. culinary arts no, that's awesome. Um, I guess our biggest concern is because we have a really narrow time that we're looking at to shoot this film and to make this album, mm -hmm. and you've already missed a good like 10%, 10, 15% of the days. Mm -hmm. So that puts you not only behind everybody else, but it also makes us concerned because it's like, well, in the future, you know, we need to rely on this guy to, you know, see this project to the end. You know, I'm not gonna say you're in, in, you know, you're in jeopardy or anything like that. But at this point, it's like it's up, it's the ball's in your court to prove to us. Um, I'm Anthony Murray. Um, I reside in the West End of Toronto, Virginia Finch. I started writing music when I was in probably grade six, grade seven. It was just a little hobby and I, I never took it serious, but then when I got to, I think grade eight, we would have Freestyle Fridays on recess or whatever, so that kind of made me open up to my friends and they said that they liked how I rapped and so and so, so I kind of took it a bit more serious and writing down music. It's the first song I ever recorded was probably I recorded tracks when I was younger, but it wasn't an official studio or anything. It was just off my computer at my house when I was in grade six or grade seven. But my official studio track I recorded was probably grade 10, I think. From there, I just kind of stuck around the studio, just watched the engineer mixing, mastering, recording. And then from there, it's just been history. What inspires you? Just waking up and being able to breathe another long day breath. It's my daughter, my mom, my brothers, family, struggles, pain, trip, trials and tribulations. A lot of things inspire me. As, and it's mostly the negative that inspires me because I've been through so much negative growing up that I know that I could overcome it with positive and turn that negative energy into something positive. Family also plays a big part of my music. Um, just struggles that me and my brothers been going through since we were young. During school, outside of school, growing up in a broken home, all of that in one. Well, me growing up, I never had my father around, so it's just me giving my daughter what I never had. I was always taught when I have my first child or when I have children to give them everything that I didn't have from silver spoons to name brand shoes, whatever it is, the opportunity to go to college, all of that. So it's just me being the right parent, I guess, taking up for my responsibilities and, you know, just being a man because that's what being a man entails for you taking responsibilities for your actions. So. Me knowing that I wanted to have a child, I have to take up for that responsibility. And me being with her just always makes me happy. If I'm not with her, I go start going crazy and whatnot. So it's kind of like a strong bond between me and her. She brings me joy, happiness, everything all in one. Sometimes it's not even, it can't even be explained what she brings to me. It's like a whole bunch of unexplained words sometimes. It's, I can't even explain it. It's just like, 
overwhelmed with joy. Cause you ain't know when they gon' die. Way too long, man. Way too long. Why you take it? Waking up in cold sweat from dreams and murdering my daughter. Damn. Roll over, hug her harder. While I think about the karma from the days with all the drama back and forth. Shoot talks, get a stab of broken bottles. Late night shootouts, late night move outs. Master key for stolen whips just to get the group round. Open houses for us just to stash the two round. No new friends. Back then that tune wasn't round. Nah. But now I got my seed, I gotta see life different, succeed Believe in the dreams and give up wisdom, decisions I make her now, leave me as a victim in the present time Here's my diary, in a better vibe Two five k for your baby girl If daddy goes, grandma gon' come and lay the word upon you I promise you're gonna be good, but that money's for your college One heavy deposit, it's costing me to be a boss man I'm not talking about the same content that I used to talk about. I'm trying to get deeper and more into the depth of who I really am and what I've really been through more than, I guess, the fabrications of certain things. So I'm not going to say I wrap all fabrications, but some things I should say I push to the limit, I guess, or I exaggerate it too much, so I'm trying to get back to like the foundation of things and do like the real me. I feel like if there's more youth engagement, like at least older role models letting the youth know, like, listen, we all go through tough things and trials and tribulations in our life, but at the end of the day, you need to find out who you are and do what you want to do. Not what other people tell you to do and not what you feel like you need to get engaged in. Mm -hmm. Just do what you do. So if music is your thing, then make sure it's your thing. This is the black. You know what we started at? We went through our trials and tribulations in life. You know how that goes. I go by the name of uh, Box Corleone. Die and live like a bum. Pockets naked. Or you can do 25. And I don't think you're ready for that ride. And I don't think you're ready for that ride. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Huh. We'll fear no evil. Huh. We'll fear no evil. Now, nah. we'll fear no evil. Uh, uh, the individuals that um, basically I grew with or grew around or the trials and tribulations in my life that affected me as to why I couldn't perfect what I was perfecting right now. Um, well, I lost um, a lot of friends uh, growing up and I don't want anybody to have sympathy or to put their arm over my shoulder and give me a hug. Um, it happens to a lot of people, but at the end of the, the day, these individuals that I grew with, I used to do music with one individual past and that also inspired me to a point where I feel like for me to give up I'd be letting them down in a sense and I don't want to let the ones that know I can actually do something I wouldn't want to let them down because I'm pretty sure if the tables were turned they probably would have let me down this is uh Keanu's Campbell King Ace King Papacito I'm gonna pay a bit of homage. So. This is one of the individuals I was talking about uh, in my interview that I made a song with. Uh, and he was on a couple of hooks. And he'd done it. Like I said, he's the he's the reason that I'm inspired, and he's the reason that I'm gonna continue to do what I gotta do. I'm not gonna let him down, nor am I gonna let anybody else down. That I truly love and care for. Um, 
I don't see him as often as I should. I know there's really no excuse for that. There's no excuses to visit your last of our friends. But at the end of the day, I do what I can to make sure I still come over and pay him some homage and pay rid of him and stuff like that. It's, it was tough for us growing up. You know, we lost a lot. But I just want him to know that he's still appreciated out here. No matter what the circumstances are. Uh, no matter what comes down to anything. Uh, he'll always be a memory. He'll always be a person that we love. Rest in peace, Kiang is Hot temper, uh -huh. if I lose my train of thought what else? There's a body in the parking lot Stupid. I lost some dogs from them gunshots uh -huh. Seeing mothers cry made my heart stop Hauling on that thing cock oh, for sure. See, play the block and get shell shot uh -huh. Count a hundred grand and then that door knock Horse getting kicked in like a swat again Losing everything you was bringing in uh -huh. Season all the cars, there's no driving in Never. CLs ain't trying to feed us uh -uh. in the bullpen yeah. I eat, poppy, uh -huh. when I package in you get girt for that canteen that you order in yeah. I'm at the bidwist table, and I'm all in <laughs> Lessons in life, uh -huh. don't get boxed in Marijuana got a kick like a Shaolin yeah. And any time I bring the fire like a... I feel that I found myself Because I know what kind of individual I am right now That... I think I have answers now that I didn't growing up, but I had to learn because I wasn't an individual that liked to listen to anybody. I never liked to listen, so I always ended up growing up feeling and going through things the hard way. But the hard way, unfortunately, it's what taught me and it's what made me a better person and a stronger person. So, uh, where do you see yourself going? To be honest, uh, I feel like the path that I walk, it's has a lot of closed doors but at the end of the day I feel like as long as I do whatever it takes I'll have those keys to open those doors so meaning I want to make it further than Toronto Ontario Canada like I want to be internationally known all over the place if I'm not gonna say if that I'm gonna make sure it's possible or it can be because my grandfather my grandfather always told me that can't it's not a it's not an imaginable vocabulary so I'm not going to say I can't do this and I can't do that. I don't really want to hear can't. I'm currently in a program called Breaking the Cycle with a lot of young individuals that have been charged with the Guns and Guns Unit, basically trying to better our situations and better our lives and better our futures. You know, we all went through tribula trials and tribulations in our life, you know, some still on certain conditions and whatever it is, but at the end of the day, we make it through and do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? It's hard out here for a lot of people, so we try to do what we can do. Okay, so how are you going to hold yeah. it? It's like a zipper formation. So one person needs to be on this side, and the other person needs to be on the other side. Try to do what we can do. Don't depend on other people to get you to get to where you need to be or where you see yourself. Set goals and don't think that you're not able to get anything that you see. Like for me, I came from a small city in New Jersey. It was very crime. The crime was very heavy. We were like the capital of uh, the murder capital of America for like years. Uh, out of my 20 close friends, 15 are dead. Two are doing life, the three barely made it out of the hood because they couldn't get their mind. They became a product of their environment. And they didn't want to see anything else because they, they were trying to get the immediate time of, oh, well, I, I got to get money now. I got to get this now. You know, your time will come. 
I would use all the social media tools that I do have, I would use them. I would put it on YouTube, I would put it on Instagram, I would put it on Facebook because that's where me, me and my friends and family link up and we share share our our thoughts or our, or our videos or whatever we want to put out to the world. It's overall, sharing a deep part of your life, it feels very uncomfortable. It really feels like you're walking in a new world with brand new shoes on. You use it to test waters based off what you assume would work versus what actually does. So, I mean, within yourself, you feel like you know what would be good to, to broadcast relative to how you feel relative to circumstances around you. But more importantly than all, having a intense realism, knowing that people are gonna have mixed reviews, the more in depth you go, in my personal opinion. Um, it's fascinating, I'm excited for that. It's something that I used to dread probably before this documentary, but um, now it seems like a pretty dope experience. These days, you everything is YouTube driven. I mean, everything's really just online driven. And I would say, drop as much content as possible. You know, just constantly keep, you know, if you're doing music, constantly keep putting out your beats. Get on these different online things that you can do it for free, like uh, Reverb Nation, SoundCloud. Get involved with other people. You know, don't just try to be like, you know, hear my beat and don't show them love back. I mean, there's people on YouTube that I do write back and I say, hey, you know, I'm feeling what you're doing. You know, have build your community, build your network, because you don't know, that person can help you out. This is a person that you've seen go through it and um, the stories that he described it was just real right and um, you know you're aware of where he came from even beyond the roots like just being from Philly being from an area of not as much opportunity as we have to be honest it was um it was a real lesson you know so I mean I listened to it front back it was just all good advice especially on you know, hearing from somebody that's been through it, just the whole idea of never giving up and always believing in yourself. For him to take his time to do that, it, go, it, mean, it means a lot, you know. I just hope that everybody else in the crowd took what they were supposed to take from it to become a better version of themselves, you know. And I feel that that was his intention. He felt the genuine, the genuine respect that he was giving us and then we gave back to him. So, I mean, I think that it was a really, uh, it's something that I'll never forget. You could strive at least to be that person that reaches out to different areas and you immerse yourself in other people's ideas and, and genres and stuff like that just because you guys are kind of in it for the same goals. So it's in your best interest to take them serious because you want them to take you serious, right? So it's like reciprocity. up time so I remember the perfect time and my energy is climbing I learned I was refined he took my life struggles and turned it into praise then I trust in his name all of the day this is man up time this is man up time now the camera's in my face I gotta spit how I'm feeling gotta keep it real as a movie real real my name is Cobain my name is Cobain my name is Cobain my name is Cobain, just in case you forgot the name, my name is Cobain, I am the black Cobain for real, style addicting, I am cocaine for real, no pain, no gain, yo, I know the game for real. Man said that he's focused, real rhymes, no focus, yo, I come to my crib and then I just smoke splits, but I don't do that no more, I got a five year old sister, I don't want to be a bad example, I come through messing me and my squad, you get trampled, like a flipping a stampede of bison or something, go to Africa, you, was you, nah, <laughs> but yeah, 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 so yeah. Pardon me, even Timothy would agree it's the God in me, Mississippi rivers couldn't flow harder than me, I get all that I keep, never what I'm copping, as cops look at me, they stop me as they option, thinking that I'm doing something wrong, cause I'm doing the right in life, getting jealous and all enticed, cause I got these people enlightened. I do at night, they got the cops frightening the system on the lock and stuff. Give the flow when I get this cold south snow. Beat is bumping like a toad. No, I like this flow, it brings you close to crisis coming back. Prayers go up, lessons come down. Conversation goes around. How does that sound? This is why I do it. This is why I do it. Christ's side on mine. That's 
why I get it Turning back to the fall, getting back to the goal When the map is in the sky Christ, light of the path is life in the word that is alive When I shine reflections light with Jesus Christ See I shine bright, I'ma ride this beat But the one to preach, got an angel by my side Young talk courtesy of Timothy I like his metaphors, maybe some of those similes If he had them, but his flow is on point Make me wanna ask for another joint mm. uh. <laughs> No one could bounce in, so I gotta go again you call you guys my true friends? Check it. For the massive, who's really down with it. 60 second assassin, killed it for a minute. The sands in the hourglass, the days of our lives. 24 seven, I'ma stay on the grind. Timings of the essence. I'm destined for the belt, like a little kid on Christmas morning, make my presence felt. Cause I'm the future's present, the gift and the curse. It's hard to find true MCs, need to Google search. Underground is popping labels, don't want the dirt carried. Too low for radio use, like dead blackberries.